Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in the last video we have seen like how to create a resource group and how to give access to different users using the access control and all other stuff. So I have also mentioned in the last video that we'll be exploring about security group uh, in the next video. So that's what we are going to see in this video. So in this video we are going to create a security group, add users to that security group and give access to that security group instead of giving individual access to the users. So let's first discuss like why we need a security group uh, in the first place. So consider there is a big organization. Uh, so there will be like uh, 200 or 300 employees uh, working in the organization. So imagine if you have to maintain the access to all the individual uh, employees in a company for all the resources that you create in Azure. So this will be uh, really a tedious process, right? Considering all the steps that we did in the last uh, video. So this will be very difficult to do for each and every individual employees. Uh, so that's why security group really helps us. So what we can do is like, first we can go to the resource group that we create in the previous video. Uh, so if I go to all the Mr. K Azure tutorials using Mr. K account, Mr. K talks take at gmail.com. And if I go to the access control and go to role assignments, as you can see here, two users have owner access to that resource group. One is Mr. K talks take at gmail.com. The other one is thermal.mrktech at gmail.com. So if I jump back to thermal.mrk account um, over here, so this is thermal.mrk account. And if I access the same resource group, RG Mr. K Azure tutorials and access control role assignments. As you can see here, I have the access to actually see the resource group since I have the owner permission to this resource group. So what I'm going to do is like using the Mr. K account, I'm going to revoke this access to thermal.mr K account. So what I'm going to do is I'm clicking the checkbox over here uh, in the access control role assignments and clicking the checkbox over here and there will be an option called remove so i'm going to click this and i'm going to click s yes to remove the user so it's been removed so now the thermal account doesn't have an access to this resource group so if i jump back to the thermal account yeah so this is the thermal account and if i hit refresh as you can see here we don't have the access to the thermal account and if I hit the refresh, the whole refresh, I shouldn't be able to see the uh, access role assignments now. If I just go to role assignments, and yeah, so you can see that uh, you do not have permission to read the role assignments. So now this thermal account doesn't have the permission to this resource group. So if I jump back to Mr. K account, and what I'm going to do is, uh, instead of adding the thumbnail account individually over here, I'm going to create a security group uh, and then add the thumbnail account to that group. And I'm going to give uh, access to the group instead of the individual account. So let's see how we can create a security group now. So to create a security group, we need to go to Azure Active Directory. So this is the service which is mainly used for identity access management, which is mainly used to uh, manage all the users and all the other identity stuff. For example, if a new person joins the organization, so to create a user to give access to the uh, Azure tenant and all other stuff should be done using Azure Active Directory. So I'll be making a separate video about Azure Active Directory, which explains all the things that we could do using this service. But as part of this demo, I'm going to just explore about the security group. So if I click on Azure Active Directory, so this will take you to the Azure Active Directory page. As you can see here, here you can find the directory name, this is Mr. K Talks Tech Dev. And so in the left side, uh, if you see, there will be an option called Groups. So if I click on the Groups, as you can see here, I don't have any group over here. So I haven't created anything yet. So there will be an option to create a new group, uh, which is over here. So if I'm clicking on new group, so it will take us to a page uh, to create a new group. Cool. So the first thing that we need to fill is selecting the group type. 
So there is two option to select which is a security and Microsoft 365. So we are going to just create a security group. So uh, I'm going to choose security and it is asking for group name. So I'm going to give a group name. So consider we are creating a group for all the developers. So consider I'm going to give dev group. So the next one is the group description. So I'm going to give a description. So this group is for developers. Cool. So we have given a description now. So now there are two options to select. The first one is selecting a owners. So here is the option to select uh, the owner. So I'm clicking on here and I'm going to give this Mr. K Talks account uh, owner access to this particular group. So the owner of this group can add new members in and also can remove the users from the group as well. And the other one is uh, the members, which is the most important one. And I'm going to click on the members and I'm going to give thumbnail.mrk account to this group. Cool. So now we have given all the information and I'm going to create uh, the security group. So cool. So it has created the security group. So if I'm again going to Azure Active Directory and if I go to the groups, as you can see here, we can now see the group that we created now. So if I go to this group, dev iPhone group, and so if I go to the members section, as you can see here, Mr. K Tamil has been added to this group and we can add any number of members to this group. Uh, for example, if a company is having 100 employees who are developers, you can add all the 100 members over here in this particular group. And you can you can just give access to this group uh, to any of the resources. If you do that, then all the members who is inside this group will have the access to the uh, resource. So what I'm going to do now is like I'm going to jump back to the resource group uh, over here. So I'm going to open RG Mr. K Azure Tutorials and go to the Access Control Role Assignments. So right now we only have the Mr. K account, uh, the owner access to this resource group. So now I'm going to give the security group owner access to this resource group. So for that, if I go to the Access Control, click on Add, Add Role Assignment, the same like what we did in the previous video. I'm going to give the owner access, so click on the owner going to next here so I'm going to select this option which is user group or service principle since we are adding the group so we can select the group using this option so I'm going to click this and as you can see here so this is the group that we created so I'm going to choose this and going to select this and next review and assign So cool. So now we have given the dev iPhone group access to this resource group. So since dev iPhone group has the owner access to this resource group, the member of this group, which is the Tamil.Mr. K account, should be also having the owner access. So what I'll do is like I'll jump back to the Tamil.Mr. K account and see if I have access to this resource group or not. So if I jump back to Thumbnail.mr. K account and go to the resource group again. Access control. And if I click on the role assignments, I should be able to see all the information over here. So if I hit refresh, maybe the whole refresh. Usually it just takes like a couple of minutes to actually reflect once you give give the access and stuff. Yeah. So as you can see here, now I can see all the role assignments using the thumbnail account. So this is one of the best practice way of assigning uh, access to different users and stuff. So this is extremely useful and powerful uh, because consider a scenario uh, in a company. Uh, if a new developer joins the company and if you need to give the same set of access to that new developer, the uh, same like all the other developers, then what you can do is like you can just add uh, the new developer to the security group. And since all the security group has been uh, given access to all the resources and stuff, if you add the new uh, users to the security group, then eventually he'll be getting access to all the resources where the security group has been added, right? 
So this is pretty simple and very easy to manage. And even if a person leaves from the company, you can just go and delete the user from the security group. Then eventually he'll be uh, losing all the access to all the resources. So yeah, that's it for today. Uh, I hope it all made sense now. Thanks for listening. See you in another great video and cheers. Bye.